my staff. Go online. Proud of anything you they do. Go online. I be proud blogger. Go online. So media dot com. Go online. Go check my staff. Go online. Proud of anything you they do. Go online. Go online. Go online. Charlie, today we they go online in an enjoyment way. Enjoyment with the the enjoyment ministry inside. I be you, Bob. So you can see the pool. Pool day here small. Charlie, the black in swag. Day inside small. I mean some. Earrings, some cap, some cardigan, you know. Hey, Charlie, I don't know. It's a Rolex or what? I mean, we did, we did enjoy it. Ministry inside. It left girls then some champagne, ballet and things. With that one too. If we go on next day, like it's sorted. I mean, we are about to go online with one of Ghana's decorated rapper. When it comes to uh, BET Awards, I mean, he's the second. Uh, after the maestro could you entry and he was there to represent Ghana. I mean, after that, he has won so many awards and we are here to celebrate him. He's bringing out uh, soon a loyalty album that if you if you look at the track list, the number of uh, popular artists on the Charlie, it will bust your mind. And we are about to go online to, uh, I mean, have a chat deep down and see how far D Black has come. Uh, I mean, after 10 years, a decade in the industry, D Black. Charlie, how far? Go online. <laughs> go hey, online, Charlie. Go online. <laughs> <laughs> you the chill, D Black, the chill. <laughs> hey, but one thing I learned from D Black, you see, Charlie, oh, chilling na no, oh, if I make steady, they make money. Yeah, one thing we, I learn, I learn, because anytime I go come on next, Charlie, the chilling they go on. But you they see, say, as you the chill, I did ground free. <laughs> I did count the money. How in the mix, how did the achieve this in, in, in one one basket? Um, I think it's just it's okay, I'll say it in the form of advice. Yeah. Um when you are working, you, you need to pick a job that you love. You gotta do what you love. Yeah, So it doesn't feel like work to you. Mm. You know, so when you, if you love music mm. and that's your passion, try as much, much as possible to follow that dream of working in a field that involves music. So yeah. it doesn't feel like work to you. I love, my passions are music, events, production, helping other people and having a good time, you know? So this is my job too. So <laughs> it, it's like, it's like second nature. I love, I love, I love, um, I love throwing parties and organizing events and planning concerts and creating music and, and helping creatives, and and that's what I love to do. And for, I've been fortunate enough to be able to work in that space, mm. so it doesn't feel like work to me. I see. So you are working, but it doesn't feel like what you and and true that you are making money. But I mean, it means uh, the money you have now, we can't restrict it to just music. No, it's not. It's not just. I haven't been actively making music for. Almost over five years. Yeah, yeah. Ever since Castro, Castro's situation happened, I haven't really been making music. Music has not been my number one priority since then. You know, I branched out. Has his presence um, done on you? Has it has it affected you in any way? Well, I was after that. You know, when um, when the Castro situation happened, that's when. I had I was releasing my third album, and 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 my first single was featuring him. And he was releasing, I think, his seventh album, and his first single was featuring me. That was personal person by me yeah. featuring and Castro. That song was Charlie yeah. Hex. And then Seho by Castro featuring Yeah. Myself. So yeah. we had we had planned so we, we used to spend every day together hmm. at my place in the studio. And we had we there's there's even a part two of personal person that's wow. there that I haven't really done anything with. But we had so many plans, like we're, we're planning tours, we're booked in like so many different countries, and then hmm. that happened. So when it happened, it was very difficult for me to perform those songs. Yeah. So I, that's when I took a break from the music. Hmm. And I haven't really told myself we're going back 100% till now. You know, so to answer your question, the, the, what I've been doing in my life hasn't been 100% music. I can't say it's been from the music. Hmm. So if I understand, the absence of Castro uh, made you took a break in music. Yeah. Wow. Do you believe he's, he's alive? I don't know. I mean, what I believe and what the truth is can be two different things, you know? So I try as much as possible not to think too much about exactly what's going on 
and just pray that God's will will be done. You know, sometimes when you leave things in the hands of God, it works out for the best. You don't know what God's plans are. So I just decide not to think too much about where is he? Is he dead? Is he alive? I don't think about that. I just have just given all faith and trust to God. Like I know a lot of people have, you know. I see. Charlie, right? I can't say RIP because we haven't buried Castro. Um, this year will be six years, right? And yeah. next year will be seven years. I think it's seven years. Around year. that yeah. era. So after next year, we can maybe, the, the family can say, or by the constitution, we can say he, he's not alive. And then we, right now he's missing. And that's where we can leave it up to. Um, let, I mean, Castro is changing the whole interview. I don't, I don't like it going negative. Um, this weekend I saw you, I mean, I mean, the party man, the enjoyment minister, there was a kids party and <laughs> we saw the black <laughs> with, with his gang. When I say yeah. his gang, his kids. And yeah. people were shocked to see D black having three kids. Uh, GH, my, my, my brother G H Hyper was there and he was there and he was like, ah, D black, are this your kids? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, and, I try as much as possible to keep my, my private life away from showbiz. Mm. I try as much as possible. But, you know, I, I, I had my first child when I was in university. Wow. I was in my final year. And I, 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 I don't really put it out there like that. But, yeah. I was, was it a mistake? Um, no, it wasn't a mistake. I was 22 years old. My, okay, 22. My, but were you prepared? My, girl, I wasn't, my girlfriend got pregnant and we had a baby, you know. Mm. I, wasn't, I didn't even have a song on the radio yet. But by then, were you still doing music? Yeah, I was in school. I was in Legon. Legon. Final year, and I, my girlfriend and him. Wow. Yeah. And so she was there before everything started. So the, the option didn't come that she should have bought it? Uh, I mean, everybody has that option, but we didn't, we didn't go with that option. You, you, didn't, you didn't even? Yeah. Ah. Wow, you took that risk. Uh, were you financially stable by then? No, zero. <laughs> Maybe I'm a tucker. I don't know. I'm a hustler. Hey, yeah, I was, I was, I was actually. You, I, you know, where I was living. Where I was staying in Ivanbi Hostel doing lectures. When it was time to go to class, and then when we were kids, I stayed in DJ Mensa's family house. He gave me DJ Mensa. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, DJ Mensa. Yeah, he wasn't Sakodia's DJ at the time, oh. but he gave me a place in the Atla. family house. No, Madina. Ah. He gave me his, because. My mother's house was in Kanishi. Okay. And the studio I was recording at okay. was in Adenta. Oh, okay. So Jesus, going back which was Jesus' studio. Oh, okay. Jesus was giving us free studio time. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to Jesus. Yeah, shout out to mm. Jesus. And my school was in Legon. Legon. So it was close. So Kanishi. Mm. Uber Shafi, no Uber Kufi. No fat joint joint. No fat joint. No, I didn't. I was trying not to sit in Trotro. Ah, so, so you never sat in Trotro? No, I, I sat in Trotro SS time. But when I went to university, <laughs> I wanted to be a rapper. So the Trotro, no. <laughs> the brand name, no. So I, I used to take the, you know, the long Pijo. Yeah. The 305 or 405 or the, or the taxis that stop. So I take from Kanishi <laughs> to Circle. Mm -hmm. Circle to, <laughs> to 37, 37 to Legon. Yeah. <laughs> I enter school. Hey. And then when I have to go to Mensa's place, we just, I'll just take from Legon to Medina station. I'll just walk small about Mensa's place. And then from Mensa's place, straight to Adenta. Ah. Jesus studio was just up the road from Adenta station. So you take the, the, the Adenta car, uh -huh. you get an Adenta and just walk. So just ah, but by then you weren't popular. So what prevented you from? Uh, I was popular in school. Oh. I was popular in school. I mean, from, from secondary school, uh, I started recording at Hammer's Place. Oh, okay. At Hasha Studios. Shout out to Hammer. Yeah, and then um, I remember this guy featured me on his album. The first person who featured me was Dogo. Dogo, yeah, yeah. He featured me and Kwabna Kwabna yeah. on his album. And then Obrafo too had a compilation. Uh, he featured me too on it with Hammer. Mm. And then I was recording, I was doing battles on Vibe FM at the time. And so hey. the popularity was there. And I went to the University of Cape Coast, but because I wanted to make music, I, I stopped. I came to Accra 
I went to Lagos. Because you felt if you are in a car, you can do the music. Look, even when I was, when I was in the University of Kyoko, I could be watching uh, Alon Tibo. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> but you know you are funny in a way. Like in a, in a cool way, you are funny. I'm a Tibo. I'm saying scientific. Yeah. This is all my friends. Yeah. They're interviewing them, they're shooting their videos. I said, take a look at <laughs> So oh, I had to come uh, to Accra. And then um, I don't know whether you guys know. Uh, and I'm not coming to the Accra. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Freedom. 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 His Cheddar. Name, Cheddar. Yeah, Cheddar. Yeah, his name was Cheddar. At the time, he's now changed it to Freedom. Freedom. At the time, he also started a record label. Uh, okay, so, he had out two bees on it. No. Oh, by then. No, Pedi was his close friend. Oh, okay. But our two bees were also doing their thing. Mm. So he started a, a record label. And if I tell you the story, you guys will laugh at ah. like that. So he had a record label. <laughs> the studio was in Osu. Mm -hmm. And the artists there were Asem, Richie. Mm -hmm. The ones you both know now. Mm. Asem was there. Richie was there. I was there. Scientific was there. Asem's brother was also there. He was also a rapper. I don't know where he is now. Um, there was a girl called Salimi who was there. Irene Logan used to come back and forth. There was about 12 of us. Mm. For years, everybody was trying to make it. As a, and I, I was in a group of was, was four guys. Mm. OJ and, Black was part. No, there was a guy called OJ. OJ, but not OJ Black. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was OJ, there was Wayo, and there was Q Dash. None of them really uh, pursued the music heavily after that. Mm. But Richie left, started Lynx Entertainment, and then he became successful. Ah, know. so Richie left um, yeah. uh, Freedom to come start his. Okay. Yeah, and then he took Asem with him. Oh, okay. And Cheddar was, um, Freedom was okay, Cheddar. So Freedom also stopped the label after a while. Oh. So everybody was on their own. Oh. But, uh, and then you had to go. Everybody had to do their own thing. So my, my group was also split up, and then everybody had to. Yeah, people don't know you were in a, a group. Yeah, I was in two groups. When I was a teenager, I was in a group called The Limit. The Limit. Uh, consists of? OJ. Oh, okay. It was a guy called Wayo. Wayo was uh, Wayo's nephew. So the Wayo oh, just okay. stuck. And then uh, there was a guy who lived in my neighborhood to call P. That. She was, in fact, before, it was just three of us. Mm. But he came from outside of Ghana, moved to, to my area of Kanishi. Mm. And we, we, he joined a group for a while. So mm -hmm. we became four. Okay. But the group was, uh, it lasted maybe like two years. Mm. We were teenagers at the time, and everybody decided to again do their solo projects. And then when I turned 21, I met uh, Quincy T and we did a joint yeah. project together. And then the year after, he said he wanted to do solo as well. And that's when I started. Oh, okay. So he said he wanted to do solo? Yeah. Oh. He, was, he, he had been doing it longer than I was. Mm. I was new and he, he had been, he wasn't, he wasn't talking drums. Yeah. He was rolling with Reggie Rockstar. Yeah. So, so what, I don't think he was, yeah, he had also been in a group before. Okay. Yeah, so he wanted to focus on himself. So in 2011, mm. that's when I put out my first solo project. Oh, okay. And that was that, that was which song? Okay, so the first song was called Somebody. Somebody. I shot okay, it in yeah, the yeah, church. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, seen, I've seen that. Yeah, that of, song went far. Yeah, it was kind yeah. of gospel. Yeah. Then the second one was Get on a Dance Floor. Yeah, with D crying. With D crying. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah by you. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I did uh, My Kind of Girl with Sarkar. They were all very new at the yeah. time. Then we went. I, I did a, a nationwide tour for yeah. the Yes Boss tour. I went with all of them. I went with Sarkar, the D crying, yeah. Stage J, Fia. The whole time. That, if that time, Tema, Tema Day Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and all the girls were dying for D crying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, girls, them are. I went for a show in Sunyane. Yeah. There were girls with their bags at the hotel reception, <laughs> waiting for this time. But what I was doing was, <laughs> I was I couldn't take everybody at the same time okay. because there were like twenty artists. Okay. So I'm able to take maybe like eight. Uh -huh. So if I go to Takarade with this eight, uh -huh. when I'm going to Kumasi, I'll take another. Uh -huh. So D crime had this song with me. Get on the dance yeah, floor. That was it was a big hit. Yeah, but he had a certain song that anytime we go and do a show, I let him perform the song before we do my own. And the song wasn't a hit then. Oh, okay. But gradually, when we were doing shows, the song started Something. growing and it became the biggest song in Ghana. Uh, uh, Kill Me Shy. Kill Me Shy. Kill me it shy. became so big that now I was going to Sunyani mm -hmm. and I had gone to Takari with Deep Cry. So now I have to take. So I was going to Sunyani with Sakura. Okay. He says, Where is Deep <laughs> 
The good time is not coming. So by the time I called you can actually, that's when you have to go. He hey. also had a show in Cape Coast the same day. You know that the people made us stay in Sunyane for to perform again on Sunday. Hey. You can to come. come. Because the girls see they won't see this. Yeah, hey, Charlie. Yeah. Ah, then they cry. Yeah. Yeah, they cry. He do things. He do things. He do things. He do things. So then, oh, that was my first album. My wow. second album was 2012. Wow. I had Overa. Overa. Then, then Joey B came. Change your life. Yeah, so Joey B was my next door neighbor. I, I had recorded. That, that story, the, that next door neighbor thing there, if I hear, and the way the was, I say, yeah. Charlie, next door, where you hear the, the where you say, no, Charlie. Yeah, so I... I <laughs> I had never gone to South Africa before. So when I first went in 2011, I was nominated for China. I, I really like South Africa. Yeah. So Reggie was going to go shoot a commercial there, and I went with him. At that time, my first album had, it was pure hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just uh, English it came rap. With hip-hop, yeah. Me, my tree is very bad. Yeah. My pigeon is okay. Yeah. So Reggie was advising me to let D Crime write a tree song for me. Really? And I said, ah, oh no, when South Africa, when he was telling me this, I started working on my second album and he was listening to the songs and, you know, he had the same problem too. He came from uh, America, mm -hmm. he was rapping English, but yeah. he had to switch and start uh, doing show boy, and I'm a kind. So, so he's using so that, he's he trying to use that experience. He's telling me, if you so. can't rap through yourself, why don't you let be kind? I said, no, no, no. I'm nobody. Could, I, I can't let nobody write for me. The flares are you the rap out yeah. the flare no So you said, what about pigeon? I think you did feel it. I thought pigeon there easy, and I never thought about rapping in pigeon ah, before. You were doing real hip hop. Yeah, I was rapping yeah. only English. Yeah. So he said, you write a pigeon song and see. So I wrote Vera. Ah. So Vera was an English song, and I changed all the lyrics to pigeon. Be you will do me like that. Yeah. Oh. Vera. Hey, that song. So, <laughs> that song. So I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I go back to Ghana, okay. I went straight to the studio. At, yeah, this guy had produced a track already. Uh, um, Shona Music. Yeah. yeah, produced a track already. So I went and I laid the pigeon book out. So I did two verses. And I sent it to Reggie. And I was like, yo, it's a bad, dope song, man. So I was playing in the studio on repeat. So this is the studio. This is the wall. That's your this bedroom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that guy be bad boy. <laughs> so he kept hearing it. So he jumped over the wall into my house. And I had gone home. I I'd, I'd left. You know, at that time, I had a I had a, a baby, I had a child. Uh, so I left that house to um That was your first my, child, right? Yeah. So first I left child. to go be with my girl. Mm. So when I came back, my manager had met Joey. And Joey had begged that he wants to be yeah, on the song. song. So my manager said, before Black comes tomorrow, make sure you record we'll it. Record them, man. If, well, he, if he come, it. you know, go listen. Yeah, yeah, if he likes it, uh, it I, I'll convince him to keep it. Oh. So I came and I, I heard it and I said, yeah, I like it. You, you want to rap too, huh? And he was like, it was my young boy growing up. I've known him for years. So I said, okay, let's do it. I mean, it could be a break for you and you yeah. can also become a star. And, yeah. Also make money for yourself. Man. I knew his mother, sisters, everyone. So. Oh, okay. Already? Yeah. We grew up oh, in the okay. same neighborhood. Oh, okay. I said he was my next door neighbor. Oh, okay. And my manager was in the next two houses. Mm. So we all knew each other. Mm. <coughs> it's very funny. This is Joey B's house. This is my house. The next house was our downstairs house. <laughs> and my manager was in the fourth house. Fourth house. Okay. Yeah. So. Wow. I came back. I liked the verse. So we released it. And it became a very big hit. So I released my second album. Where do you get Matilda Hipsy from? I met her at a club. Huh. So I had written the, the, I had the, written the concept for the for the video. Okay. And I had him pick the the girl to play the video, the, the role. As soon as I saw her, you know, I told my manager, I don't know. <laughs> and she was nineteen. Biden. Yeah, she was very. No, young. Kita, no, Kita, sir. Yeah, yeah. she had never done anything like that before. Oh, really? Yeah, so she, I, she looked like a bad girl. No, she's not a bad girl. Well, oh. she, when I met her, that's what I knew her for. She was a very young girl, and we shot the video, and I think it was just her birth. Her twentieth birthday was just before we released mm. the the video, and and it became a big hit. Everybody became popular. Yeah. And made money off. I remember people used to book just 
people used to book her, her just her for events. London, everywhere. On uh, Yeah, they just wanted to see her. On bed and tell. The very girl. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so you maybe, you maybe, like, you're trying to book me for a show and I'm, I, I, I'm you booked. have to come to her no okay. maybe no I'm booked mm -hmm. right, maybe I'm busy I'm already booked for a show mm -hmm. Joey can go can take that booking mm -hmm. and maybe Joey is busy too yeah, I can. But that sometimes you can book all the travel <laughs> yeah. do you want just deep black or you want deep black with Joey wow deep black Joey uh, the, the prices were all very very hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, Charlie, Charlie. music what music can do eh? yeah. Yeah. wow interesting so, interesting exciting yeah. my third album the first single was personal person so this was 2015 the first single was it Castro Castro and then that, what, what happened, happened. So I took a break. Once in a while, I released a song. And in 2019, I dropped another album. But I had just built my club. I wasn't really focusing on it. Yeah. It didn't do too well. It was called Lightwork. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really focusing on it. And I had signed new artists, too. Yeah, yeah. So I was yeah, focusing on yeah, those artists. Yeah. The album wasn't, like, my heart wasn't mm. on there. Really, really dope songs, though. And um, so last year is when I said, you know what? We're back 100%. Let's do it. Let's do 100%. Then Corona came. <laughs> so we just slow down again. Oh. So 2021, we said, let's do it. Let's do it. I ended up recording two albums. Two albums? Yeah, two albums. So what you guys are going to hear on Friday is just half of what I worked on. So the song that you guys will not hear, the one with Jackie, is not on um, this album. This ja our forever Jackie. Yeah. Oh, okay. on this album. The one with Miss V. But let's show Jackie now. That, that, now that we are enjoying Jackie. But the songs are plenty. <laughs> but how do you handpick them? How do you... I mean, uh, there's only one person that's been on every album I have. It's Who? Ifia. Ifia. Every album that I've released. Because of a dope voice? Or? She was my, she's my classmate. From oh, really? University. And she's my favorite vocalist. So oh. every album I've released... She's on it. She's on it. None of them have been singles of the album, mm. but she's always on my album. And she's on this album too. Um, so I, what I, what I do is I, I listen to people that who sound motivate me. Mm. You know, you could mm. be a rapper, you could be a vocalist, mm. and that's how I created my album. And this album, I was telling a story. It's like I said, it's two albums. It's, one is loyalty, and one is this loyalty. Mm. So this one that's coming out loyalty. Um, when you start the album, I'm speaking to everybody who is above the age of 15, 16. You, you, you are in some type of relationship with someone, whether it's the opposite sex or a friend, a best friend. You're in some sort of relationship, and everybody expects loyalty yeah. in relationships. So I start off the album as a skit where I'm on the phone. I'm a relationship counselor. Yeah, you. <laughs> and I'm talking to two people. Yay! <laughs> about their opinion and what they think loyalty is in a relationship. Oh. And the two people I'm talking to, they don't even talk to each other. Why? Because in the relationship, they are not cool. In real life, they don't talk to each other. But I spoke to both of them about their opinion. Oh, so they, they are people we know. They are popular people we know. Are they musicians? No. <laughs> Actors? So if, I'll say one name and I'll, I'll see if you can get the okay. next one. Delay. Delay and the fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. You. <laughs> How come this? I mean, creativity came into your mind. And I'm, I'm wow, 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 wow. Yeah. And I'm asking them what wow. their wow. definition of loyalty is in a relationship, huh? not amongst each other, but if you are, if you're in a relationship, like for example, would you be okay with your wife or your girlfriend having a, a male best friend who she knows that he likes her but on her own panel <laughs> but they go out and hang out sometimes who you be okay with it <laughs> Charlie, tell this is you. Yeah. and then right. when you answer it's vice versa if you had a friend like that mm, mm. vice versa yeah. would you expect your wife yeah. or your girl to be okay with it mm, mm. these are questions that it happens every day, every day. but we just don't talk yeah. about them. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's also, I, I talk to somebody like uh, Clemente Suarez. <laughs> also, I'm, I ask him, is money 
a defining factor in a relationship? If you are broke, can you date? This yeah, this Momo girl is then <laughs> So now every question I ask, I have about six conversations. Oh. Moisa, Cookie, James Gardner. Mm. I ask James Gardner a question like, have you ever been as a celebrity, have you ever wanted a girl mm. and been rejected before? Mm. Then he tells the truth. Wow. Now all these questions that I, I'm asking as a counselor lead into songs. Hey. So the defining factor of money in a relationship. After Clemento answers the question, the song that comes next is me featuring Peruzzi from Nigeria, the video's artist. Oh, okay. And the song is about us telling a girl that come on, let me change your life, man. What's the car? <laughs> and then and then the one with the conversation with the fierce of nigga and delay also leads into a song with Dako vibes called Loyalty. Wow. And that's the question that's the question I'm asking them. Wow. I'm talking about how my girl is fighting with me, but she doesn't know that her friends are going behind. The ones who are spoiling me to her are going behind her back. Charlie, so Charlie. It's a very interesting Charlie. album. Charlie. And then the Charlie. second album too is... Big up, big up, big up, big up, yeah. big up, big up, big up. Wow, wow. And you are releasing this... Um, 14th. 14th. You know, in two days. So in two days. Friday, this coming Friday. Yeah. Massive. I mean, massive. Yeah. We can't wait. We can't wait for this. At the end of the interview, we'll talk um, about where we can get the, the <laughs> songs and all that. So you spoke about how you got your first child. Uh, your second child, how come? Same person. Same I was person. My girl at the time. Oh, okay. So after how many years? So, eight years. You know, we had we all have our you know our situations, our breakups and stuff. So we had a very big fight. You know? We split up. And then you went separate ways and came back again. No, and we're together for almost eight years. We're living together. No, what I mean is, you said you had the same, another child with the same... You know, All right? my three children are with one person. Oh, one person. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But you never got married? Never got married? At the right time, I got married. Oh, I know, I know actually Big when wedding. you got married. No, I never got married, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, why? Yeah, I, mean, I, I think in the beginning, I felt like we weren't ready. We were very young. Mm. And then... Work took its toll on us. We we're all like all over the place, and, and then I told you we all started having our issues. And mm. but she is not a popular person. Right? No. Oh, you're a doctor. Ah, so you are no more with because I heard you have uh, a a wife to be who is a doctor. Okay, so um, from the beginning of the relationship, I never called a girlfriend. What do you call? That's her? my wife. <laughs> from the beginning. Ah, uh, so that's how come that gossip. Yeah. Oh. So okay. from the beginning, I never say. Why well, you wanted to marry her? Yeah. So what? I mean, it's just, it's just timing. Yeah. It will happen at the right time. But you guys are still there. Yeah. We're very cool. Very oh, very okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But right. well, people say you don't look like somebody who can marry. The way you love chilling. Oh, <laughs> Michael Jackson self. Everybody go feel my. I see. It will happen. I mean, for me, I told you, chilling is, it just happens to be my job. <laughs> chilling is your job. Yeah, yeah, Juma, I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> what should you do now? And a that? lot of people don't, a lot of people feel like what they see on TV is actually my personality. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's deep, like, <laughs> that's one to a different person. I'm two different people. Yeah. Very, yeah. very, two very different people. Mm. If you know me personally, you know a different side of me. And if you know me from TV, you see a different side of me. Uh, from the look of things, I think it's, it will be prudent for everyone to give birth earlier. I mean, early. I mean, everybody's different, you know. Uh, I'm glad I did. You, you know? are 35 now, right? 34. Th 34. Yeah. And you have given birth to your kids already. Yeah. And they look, they look yummy. My, do my daughter, yeah. my oldest daughter is 11. Yeah. Like with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abortion song. <laughs> oh, wow, abortion song for that. <laughs> no, but do you know you look like a, a DB talking about your story? I mean, hiding, one, don't want to take trot and all that. You look like a DB, you. Mm -hmm, yeah, I know. Are you a DB? Uh, almost. Ah, almost, eh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I tell you my story, you can't understand. My father had. Do like when we were growing up and then I lost everything. Oh, so then we had to start from scratch. 
Yeah. So I, I, I grew up with my mother. Mm. My mother was in a ritual month, very, very normal, regular. She worked at, my mother worked at the same job her whole life. Mm. You know, so at a certain point in our lives, you have to also make an effort to fend for yourself and also mm. do the things that you want to do for yourself because we didn't have those privileges anymore. You know? Yeah, yeah. What what work what was your dad into? My father was a businessman. Business businessman. Yeah. My father has passed away though. Yeah. Almost ten years ago. Oh. May yeah. so rest in peace. Yeah, thanks. So uh, at the age of like eighteen now uh, you have to start doing things for yourself. Mm. To be able to the things that you want to achieve in life, you don't have the financial capabilities to do your parent your parent your single mother can't do it for you. So now you also have to put your back into it and now all the suffering that she's going through, you also have to take care of her. You know, you know that it will get to a certain point. She'll, she'll retire. Yeah. When you and take over. You like like your dad. Yeah. Were you the first one? Yeah. You're the first one. Yeah. You have siblings? Yeah. I have, okay, so my father had 10 children. She? But for my mother were two. Oh, okay. I was the oldest and I have a, a sister as well. Oh, okay. So now you have to assume the role father's of position. father's position. So. Wow. You, you you have to do it. Like, who's going to do it? I see. You know, I had an uncle who was supporting as well. But you can't depend on him. Mm. He also has his own family. Mm. So, if I make work, you know, so I, I had to do something. Uh, wow. So, I mean, um, you've already said that chilling is your job. And you make money through that. And we all know, I mean, it's evident. That is true. You're making money from that. You were able to sign people like Sifa. Uh, I mean, the likes of Miss Forsen. Is Miss Forsen still with you? Yeah, but uh, to be honest with you, we are not. The label is not investing any more in artists. That the new artists. Who is the new artist? No, we're, I'm just saying going forward, we're not okay. investing in new artists. We're taking a different direction. I'll announce it soon. But Miss Forsen is with us, Sefa is with us, Nina is with us, you know. And I like only females. Why? Um, just based on my experience, I feel like they're more driven when they're mm -hmm. around me. I feel like of the experience that I have, I'm more comfortable to work with females. Mm. Open mind, Tiana. No. These are all my sisters. Yeah. D Black! Sefa is my sister, Nina is my sister, Miss Force is my sister. <clears throat> Speak to them, ask them. <laughs> we'll come to that. They are your sisters and all that. But uh, you said something that you are no more investing into new talent. It means it has ended there. No, yeah, we're, we're taking a different direction as a label. We're not, as a label. Yeah, financial investments don't come anymore. It's, it, it's a different direction, but I'll explain it later. So now you are focusing, the, the small investments you invest now, you only focus on Sifa, yes, Nina, yes, and okay, that's yes, what it means. Yes, yes. But, so you are still investing in Miss Fossil? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. But she, like, she's in the back as a... Um, I think you should speak to Miss Fossil too. She she took some time off. Oh, you okay. know, and she has, she has a new song out. Yeah, right, Rough Rider. Right? Yes, she has a new song Okay, I saw the video. She took her personal time. time off. Oh, okay. She just needed to... Get ready for it. show business. Like a lot of people feel like what you see on TV, and I don't know. Mm. You should be you, you should be ready to handle it. Mm. The fame, it's not all glory, you mm. know. That's the that's the side. There's the pressure from fans, from society, from family. You know, you should be ready. So she had to get ready. Mm. You know, wow. I don't know whether you think back. Sefa has been with me for about two and a half years. Yeah, I know. But she didn't get ready two and a half years ago. She didn't get ready two and a half years ago. Yes, it took her time. You probably didn't know her then when she first released her first song. You can't tell me her first song. <laughs> but you got to look back. Yeah. So everybody goes through that process. You have to go through that learning process. Okay. To be able to get to the point where you're comfortable in your own self and you can stand on your own and do your thing. I don't have to be there. After a while, I'll leave your hand so that you two can fly. I don't have to go to surface interviews with her anymore. I don't have to go to her shows with her anymore. But when it comes to the money side, you are still doing it? Yeah, but Sefa is making money now, so now the company doesn't even really have to reinvest. Oh, really? Yeah. Reinvest. So does it mean 
I thought as a label, we are a label okay, or so, management. Okay, so let me let me <clears throat> let me let me give you an example. If uh, uh, the label invests a hundred thousand cities and Safar makes a hundred thousand, Safar has a percentage that she reaps. The label has their percentage of profit that they reap. Mm. But now the label investment is secure. Mm. That money is not new money anymore. It's money that can be put back and then you make money back again. Mm -hmm. And Safar has gone to that point okay. where it's not new money anymore. She's made enough revenue for herself and you know everybody's good. So now it's not the label going to bring in new money to come and reinvest. Mm. Now brands even pay for her stuff. Yeah. With her new video, big shout out to Casa Preco. They supported the production of her new video Mr. with Mr. Drew. Mm. He choke. And he so, choke is everywhere. Right? Yeah. Two, three weeks old. Yeah. And I think I think it's bigger than sugar. Oh no, 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 no. I mean maybe in some few weeks it may, but yeah. sugar. Hey, yeah. stop it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sugar, sugar, yeah, Charlie, Charlie. But I believe you choke will, will overtake sugar. Yeah. I thought it would be difficult having a, another big song overtake sugar, but for a look of things, I see the challenge. There's some yesterday I saw some video Everywhere. Ronnie posted some small little kid and yeah. wearing pink and yeah. challenge. And I saw the eh, I watched the video and uh, I I had good bones wait. I was saying goosebumps all over the good bones. Goosebumps. Goosebumps all over the channel. You know me small. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm very happy for so far. I yeah, like yeah. I like to see I like to see stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it makes me it's happy. Yeah. It's not even about the money set. It's just I know. I'm happy that I somebody know. can because from the look of things it's like every investor invests to rip mm -hmm. so that he can also use the money for but it's mm -hmm. like you as a Michelle Sini I didn't corner as a you just want the success of Yeah, that's how I am. That's the type of person I am. And God has blessed me so much. So for me to do that for somebody else, it's not a problem for me. I do it from here, nowhere else. But why do people feel like you, you have already said that um <laughs> you now you want only females around you when it comes to signing of artists, you are not going to sign anybody else too. Hopefully. Hopefully. See, I have a very soft heart. <laughs> so, you can see some bubbly girl. Some, and no, no. even a guy. I can hear a guy sing. Oh, but you said... Uh, I, said okay. I, said, I said hopefully. Oh, okay. So, so hopefully, it can change. Hopefully my team... I mean, it's happened. <laughs> I've seen somebody. I'm like, yo, this guy. Then my team are like, no, no. we're not doing it. Uh, I'm, I, like, I like to help people. Okay. And when I see talent, it makes me want to just help. Mm. There's people now because I don't, I've decided not to sign artists. Sometimes I see somebody on social media, and I feel Very like they need a push. Yeah. Somebody like I saw some guy on Twitter. His name is Kula. Kula, Kula, Kula. He's a radio presenter too. Yeah, I know. He's I paid good. for his video without oh, signing really? him, just as help. Oh. Because I knew that I wasn't gonna mm. be mm. able to invest mm. in signing an artist anymore, and I do it. Mm. It's, I just, it's just the way I am. Because of your brand, like your bad boy brand. I have a bad boy brand. Oh yeah. No 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 not negative wise. But I mean like <clears throat> already people see people who go to clubs as some bad boys be. Uh -huh. Especially people who did not go club. Yesterday some guy be some chess guy be, say, Hey club, hey, me there. I say, ah, club what day there? A B A B drink then music. I say, you see here see some strippers. I say they black in club. I don't see strippers for them before. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you see, eh. Is it that you do your baby party? Tell him! No, no script party. Me, I get her, then they move. <laughs> no, I beg you. I beg you, no script party. So, so, I mean, and having sexy, saucy, say, fire around the Nina, Miss Forcing. Oh, she gets Nina, bumper. Bumper gets. <laughs> when I say bumper, they are capricious. Mm -hmm. And people think, I mean, you go in bed even before signing them. And, or why do you, do you think? People. I mean, I mean, it's more fun to believe that than to believe that I don't do it. It's more fun <laughs> to believe. Yes, it's more interesting. Okay, yeah. To picture and talk about the fact that mm -hmm. that's what I do, mm -hmm. than to say he doesn't do it. It doesn't make news. <laughs> the fact if you say that I do it, uh -huh. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> are you interested? I said you involve who? No. Eh, and come to think of it. I don't know whether I should call it sex tape or what, whatever tape. Sushi, it came sushi, sushi, sushi tape. <laughs> sushi tape came. And everybody thought, hey, D-Black, hey, D-Black, D-Black. Ah! 
You go come that day, sub. So, like you come Onyx, right? It's for, uh, it's and you were chilling. It's my and, club. And I, I was like, and people were sending me videos. Ah, the black is in the club, you know. I said, ah, so what make I do? <laughs> <laughs> they said like, ah, you die even that day. Go holidays. <laughs> so say, so say, we could be like you there. Look, me. Uh -huh. I have a very clean heart. So when the devil tries to throw anything in my way, mm. God doesn't let it stand. Negative energy doesn't touch me. Once you're once you're a good person and you know you're a good person, leave God to do the rest for mm. you. And that's my motto. That's how I that's how I live my life. Even negative comments from human beings. You believe in what you're doing. Yeah. You believe that you create amazing music and production houses, event organizers, award ceremonies all over the world have honored you and said, Yes, you win best video in West Africa for this. You win best rapper on this song for this. Yeah. You have a collection of awards. You have hit songs. You have a catalog. You've made money and put food on the table for yourself, your family. You're, you're doing your friends' jobs. You've helped other, you've touched other people's lives doing this. Why should you be concerned about somebody tweeting something negative about what you do? There's billions of people in the world. Not everybody will agree with what you're doing. Yeah. So why does somebody's little opinion matter? Why should it let you, why should you let it affect you? When you are, you've achieved your dreams, you've gotten to a point in your life where you're happy and you believe that you're successful at what you do and you've impacted different people and different societies all over your country and the world. You go to shows and people are singing your songs back to back. You 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 you, you act in movies and people are buying the movies, people are paying to watch you, people are coming to concerts. Negative energy, let it go. Sometimes the person who is even tweeting, where he goes sleeps is the problem. The person hasn't even had three square meals. <clears throat> the person can't even afford to have three square meals a day. So focus on you. Just have a good heart and do you. But, but the, 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 the sushi, uh, sushi tip that we have got, it didn't have any effect on you. Well, you know, sadly, whoever did that will get his reward. Whoever did that will get his reward. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Whoever did that will get their reward. One day, will, one day, you, 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 it will happen. That's how God works. Wow. Yeah. Where were you when you saw it? I was in the club. Chilling. It was a Wednesday. And they were sending the videos to you. Yeah. And how did you feel? I was very confused at the time. But wow. It happened, Sha. And I learned one thing from it. Um, after that, you rather released a, a song. And the song was even related to something like that. It was very, very funny. I don't, <laughs> I and people said you planned it. I did the song. If you know, if you're a Deep Black fan, mm. you know that I released a song in December, the year before, mm. for Christmas, mm. with no video. Mm. So January, February, March, when I was promoting the song, mm. I got stuck in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. During Corona. Yeah, Corona. So I went to South Africa in February to promote the song. So from South Africa, me and the team went to America to do a media tour. So while we were in the second city, we did um, Washington, D.C. And then we went to Miami. We did one in Miami. We are going to do the second one in Miami. It got shut down. We went to L.A. Mm. It got shut down. New York got shut down. Then the borders got closed, so mm. we got stuck. Mm. So March, April, May, June, July... The whole world was shut down. So when I got back to Ghana finally in July, as soon as I landed, I said, Medical, let's shoot the video quick. Mm. ASAP. So me and my team had organized an event, the car wash. Yeah. Finish line car wash. It was massive. So we used the car wash to shoot the video. Yeah. And then the next day we added some more scenes to it. Yeah. And the video was dropping that weekend. <laughs> hey, Charlie. And then that happened. I said, bro. We're not going to change any plans. We're still going to drop the video. Nothing changes. <laughs> It'd be video. hard. One <laughs> hard. Hey, blessing in disguise. Yeah. <laughs>
This is a blessing in disguise. Wow. Charlie, the interview... But you don't say you did talk. Mm. You know? Hey. This interview, me, I don't know say you go go 45 minutes up. I get plenty of questions, but from the look of things, uh -huh. like before wrap up. Mm -hmm. Now, one way to talk about this one, I gamble, then things for me, they worry me. Because when I old people, Charlie, sometimes if I see them a situation, then things, they worry me. And I'm happy that you, you guys are setting examples. So if you are, you are singing, you can do other business apart mm -hmm. from that. I think... What, those are the mistakes they did. Yeah, but even even aside that, you see, not everybody is a business-minded person. Mm. Not everybody is, a, is an artist with business acumen. You see, there's people who are pure talent. Finish. Flat. Awesome. I know a lot of people who are just pure talent. Mm. They're, cre they're creative, period. Mm. Why shouldn't they earn what they deserve? Why do they have to do other businesses, which they're not good at, or they don't have the flair for? You know, there's people who are who are just creatives and Celine Dion, she's a creative, she just sings. And she makes money off her music. And that's that. Why should Celine Dion go and open a boutique when she doesn't know anything about opening a boutique? So you mean it's a, it's a system? I'm saying that, yes, artists can rent into other businesses. But not everybody is a business-minded artist. There are some people who are just creatives. They're pure creatives. The system should be set up so that people like that don't have to venture into other businesses to be able to put food on the table. We just we need a we need a dedicated, selfless leader mm. for Gamro cause Gam music. That's all I can say. A dedicated, selfless leader who's educated enough to understand that the dynamics of the music industry are, are changing. Look now, you can do a song with someone for free. Nobody asks for no money. But as soon as you upload it. It can be taken down. Yeah. Because the person has not signed clearance. Yeah. Four, five, six years ago, it wasn't like it that. Wasn't like People that. just put the song out. Yeah. That's it. Everything is changing now. Yeah. There's publishing deals. There's, there's so much going on that the people who are supposed to educate the musicians who don't know about it are not doing that. It's not. I mean, I see them, I see some of them, I see artworks. Uh, doing a forum here, but they said you guys don't come, yeah, because it's not like who is leading the front for the artist to come, who is influencing the artist to come and listen to what you have to say. What have you done for the music industry that now you are saying come to this forum? You, you, you have filled us so many times that to us it's just an institution, it's not even about the leader. So, oh, who again, Gamrofono. The people who don't pay us are royalties are calling us to come and do what? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. We've been failed so many times that when you see something like that, you're like, what do they even know about royalty disbursements? They're either criminals or they know and they're just closing their eyes. So what are they come to teach us? Set the example first. Set up the royalty system properly. Log in and pay per streams or per play. And after that, when they invite you guys, you come. Thank you. What are they come to tell us? When you haven't fixed the system, who is going to come and listen to you? Who is interested? But once the system is fixed, everybody wants to know that, ah, the system is fixed too. Let's go and learn about how to maximize our revenue. You see everybody there. Okay, so as, as they talk about fix, they should fix the system, Gamble and all that. I mean, what is trending in Ghana now? Fix everything. It's fix everything. <laughs> Some people say, make it fix the country. Make the leaders fix the country. The, the leaders to the tell us, say, make it fix on an attitude. Um, where do you stand? Um, I mean, there's a lot to be fixed in mm. regards to fixing the country. Um, ah, there's a lot of, to be fixed. Yeah. Matteo yeah. Dasari, actress said, there's nothing to be fixed. There's a lot to be fixed. Okay. I mean, both parts. First off, fixing the country comes first. Mm. It is our country. Mm. The country is for all of us. Mm. The attitude is, is for an individual. Mm. So let's fix the country. Our hospital, our healthcare systems, mm. our roads, some of our laws. We just spoke about gamma. Mm. The tourism sector needs to look at all these things for us mm -hmm. as creatives. Mm. This is how we survive. This is how we put food on the table for our families. So many other things. Yeah. Uh, the Ghanaian attitude, sadly or unfortunately, majority of the people in Ghana, 
have attitudes that stink of ungratefulness and lack of gratitude. I feel like the past government and the current government have made strides in certain areas. We love them. Thank you. It's our country. However, there's still more work to be done. Yeah. Let's speak on it. Let's help fix the country. It's the country. Yes. The country. Yeah. The country is for all of us. Okay. You know, it doesn't belong to one person. Okay. Let's definitely fix the country. Mm. I can't. I can't speak on it all. I don't know it all. Yeah. But a little that I know, I've spoken on. Yeah. And I feel like yes, if we, if everybody who 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 has, me, I can speak on my industry. Yeah. I can speak on a little that I know. Yeah. There's somebody who knows the agricultural sector better than I do. I don't know anything about the agricultural sector, but he knows the problems there. Let him also speak on it so that we can help fix that sector. Somebody knows more about the security sector. Somebody knows more about the finance sector. The, the, the different sectors in the country. Let's all come together and help fix the country. It's, it's, it's a, and your fight. If, we, if our president has the country at heart, which I, I hope, uh, I know he does, and the ministers also have the country at heart. Why can't we all come together to fix the country? Okay. Um, going. We're wrapping up. But Joey B said, um, I think, uh, he said a mistake he did was by signing a lot of artists. It's not uh, a mistake. It's just, I was just helping people. Um, I think maybe he's thinking, okay, D Black is trying to, I mean, help artists. You should have done it one by one. Okay, when this investment is gone, and then you are repaying no, it. No, you see, because if you're looking at it from a business standpoint, mm. you can say that. Oh, but okay. So that wasn't the idea? No, I mean, it's a business. Yeah. You know, that's how you make money as a, as, as, as a label. However, I'm one of those people that beside the business... I love music so much. When I see talent, I, I want to help in any way, shape, or form that I want to, you know? Okay. So I just see it as me helping somebody get to the next level of their career. Most of these people, you didn't even know them, you know? You didn't know some of these artists until I put them on the platform. And then they got radio play, they got TV play. Their followers will shut up. You know, things change in their lives. So it's up to them now to also take it to the next level level and once they're successful i'm just happy that they've been able to get to a certain point of success you know it's not always about money so um d black so loyalty is out today um where can they get go on my youtube channel mm -hmm. um youtube.com slash d black music music is m-u-z-i-k okay all the slides for all the songs all the videos are there mm. go on apple music is there just type d black loyalty soundcloud audio mac Spotify everywhere. Okay. It's on every platform okay. imaginable. And some people like you will get like special CDs and customized pen drives with an album on there. Wow. So you get yours on Friday. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Okay, so we're ready for Friday. I mean, you've heard the story behind the loyalty. And there is this whole loyalty. I don't know when he's going to release that. But October I mean, 29th. October? 29th. So this same year, you're yeah. releasing two albums. I thought you released that next year. No, I have to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> My colleagues have. Yeah, it's true. So it won't take over. Yeah, no, no, no. I but then you go on VGMU. No, we will give you two albums. Hey. So like you said, December, we will add another album. Are you serious? <laughs> Three albums in a year? No. Yeah. Ah, Charlie Tobo. Okay, so this is how we wrap up. Uh, I went online with the baddest enjoyment minister. Enjoyment, say something about enjoyment minister. Charlie. I mean, I mean you, you are enjoying the accolades, right? Yes, I am. I mean, it, it turned out into a song. A song? A oh, we didn't song, talk yeah. about you and Kwame Na MPs. Yeah. The baddest song in Ghana now. It's trending all over. Suje. 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 <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I just, I, when I was releasing the album, I was just praying that the first song I released of the Oh, album, that's the song, first song? Yeah. Wow. The first song I released of the album. Becomes very successful before the album comes. I I, I spaced it four weeks mm. to the album. And you were strategic. Looking yeah. at the sounds in it, those South Africa vibe, you realize it's trending in Ghana. Right? I took uh, I, inspiration. I, 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 I took two months to finish that song. It, it took what? It took me two months to finish that song. Ah. 
That song alone. I told you about that song. The producer. Never met him till this weekend. Huh? I just met him this weekend. Ah, I thought... Um, He's been sending me beats since he was 19. To, oh! To my email. Really? And like, we all know, I wasn't focusing on the music like that. Mm. So, when I started writing my album, I started going to all the beats that people had submitted. And I wow. saw this Hauser name. Like, two beats. Ah. So I started listening. You don't remember his name, right? Abdul. Abdul, okay. So I started listening. Then I realized that it's the same person has been messaging me on Snapchat. Oh. About beats. So I downloaded all. And I, I picked, he sent me about 14 beats. Wow. I picked about seven. Wow. So I wrote Enjoyment Minister. I wrote the chorus. Enjoyment. So we just, I wrote a chorus and I called my children to come. <laughs> to and I made them come and do ad libs on it. I did the verses. The song was ready. And then there's a new girl who we're working with. She's called Kezia. Okay. Yeah, I've seen her. Yeah, we're managing her. That's for these artists. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so she was recording in my house. And I, I, I heard something in her voice. So I told her to do. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, music. Yeah. <laughs> so I told her when she was done recording, I wanted her to sing something under the beat. Okay. Of the song. But she came. So the sound you hear in the beginning and throughout the whole song. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. her voice. Oh, okay. And I put an effect on it. Mm. I put an effect on the voice. And I still wasn't done with the song. <laughs> so there was something missing. So Stoneboy was supposed to be on a song that Kill Beat had produced for my album. Oh. So Kill Beat came and spent five days here working on my album. And so there's a particular song that I wanted Stoneboy to be on. So Stoneboy wasn't in the country. So Stoneboy landed, and the next day he called me and said, I'm coming to your house right now to come do the recording. Mm. But I sent him that song already. But when he came, was when I was working on the... Uh, okay. <laughs> and when he came and he heard it, I saw the reaction on his face. And I said, this, 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 this is the song. And he said, yes, this, this is the one I want to do. <laughs> so he did it. I thought the song was done. Oh! It wasn't done. I had a party in my house. I'd finished the first album. But I, I thought that song was finished. So I asked Kwame and MP to come do a verse on, ah. on, on another song. So he came, and that song comes out on Friday. That's the second single. Okay. It's called Control, featuring Kofi Jama, Camilo. Yeah, 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 I've seen the artwork. Who yeah. did it? Chale, bad. I have a whole create, a new creative team. Chale, 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 Chale. So bad. I asked him to come and be on that song. Uh. So he came and did his part on that song. Then that same day, I had a party here with like artists and producers. So Kim Promise and Kill Beat and Ronnie turned me up. We're all here. And I split the house into two. There was a studio here and there was a studio here. <laughs> so I mean, I was recording at one end of the studio. Mm -hmm. And the other guys too were on the other side of the studio in the house. So when Kwame finished and was coming out, they were playing Sweetie. and German minister. And he started vibing to it. So I saw I also saw his reaction. And I said the chorus that I, I did. You should come and you should redo it. Oh, so you sang the chorus for the Yeah, I done it already. Oh. So he came and when he did it, I felt like it was more commercial. Yeah. And well, voice, he's, a, he's a party boy. Yeah, his mean? voice is <laughs> very deep. Yeah. And uh, his talent is amazing. I said, no, no, no. You sound better on the chorus. But I still kept my kids' voices in there. In there. Then I said, the song is done. It wasn't even done. Then I made the MC at my club, Sheldon. Sheldon. I made him come and do an intro. Like you're walking into a club and they're welcoming you. Put it at the beginning of the song. Then the song was done. done. Two months. Wow. Wow. And the song is everywhere in Ghana now. Yeah. And it's part of the... Loyalty. Is it uh, number number what? I think it's number six. Number six on the album. Yeah. And another one is dropping this Friday. 
um, control, right? Yes, control. I love the artwork. I That's a hip hop song. It's a hip hop song. We miss that hip hop side yeah. of you. So uh, the album gives you everything. There's high life. Okay. There's hip hop. Okay. There's a South African I'm a piano vibe. Yeah. There's Afro beats on that too. So it's a blend of everything. You enjoy it. Wow. We're already enjoying it. <laughs> enjoyment. Okay, so this is how we wrap up with the amazing uh, enjoyment minister, D Black. Okay, so I went online with him and I did this with my cameraman, Maxwell. Shout out to him. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I had an idea. I from some of my family. I from some team. We come and make film. Team, some people media. Maybe you said then go online. Go check my stuff. Go online. Be proud of anything you they do. Go online. I be proud blogger. Go online. Go media dot com. Go online. Go check my stuff. Go online. Be proud of anything you they do. Go online.